Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this latest video. I um, saw a post this morning on a Facebook page that I follow uh, about sim racing where they were after a tool to uh, learn to trail brake essentially or learn to have the correct braking technique and in some of my other videos I've probably mentioned it before that I've written such a thing and they use it for in-house coaching of uh, pro race drivers uh, so this is what it looks like now it was written for myself uh, and it was written to be used with uh, Husing World Ultimate Pedals so to use it, it is possible to use it with other types of pedal, um, but it's not straightforward. So, as you may have seen in one of my last videos, I did a review on a set of Mecha Cup One uh, pedals that I've got here um, on my own rig. So, I'll take you through how to install this um, program and get it using and get it being able to be used with uh, any set of pedals. Right, so the first thing you'll need to do is uh, check the description where I've put a link for a, a V, it's called VJoy um, driver. So if you just download that and install it as normal, then what you need to do is download something called Joystick Gremlin, which uh, I'll also include in the video description you'll want to go to the Leo Bodnar site and download the DI View uh, calibration software which uh, if you've got Husingveld Ultimates or these Mecha Cups and probably some other pedals um, you've probably already got this um, and that should be all you need for getting going so install the v, uh, VJoy driver and then go to the eye view and calibrate your pedals. Make a note of what um, axis your brake pedal's on. So as you can see on this one my brake pedal is the uh, RY, so Y rotation axis. and the brake trainer uses the y-axis so you need to swap your uh, y-rotation axis to be the y-axis and so you do that by coming into joystick gremlin and across the tabs across the top here you'll see whatever devices that you've got attached so here I've got my mecha cup uh, if I push the brake pedal, it will highlight um, what axis I'm using. So Y rotation. I go to remap and then click add, and you'll get one of these little action boxes come up. And you want to set VJoy device one to be Y axis, and then come up here and we've got this activate icon. Make sure it's on activate. And it will say down here status running and active. You can close that. And then on the racing pedal simulator game, you can just double click the racing simulator application and it will come up. We need to select the connected devices to be VJoy device, not the Mecha Cups in my instance, or your pedals. It's got to be this because that's the device that's been remapped to be the right axis. Go to calibrate, then push the pedal as hard as you can, and click save. Now that makes that 100% uh, brake effort. And then go to brake training, and here you've got your target trace. Now this target trace is adjustable, if you go to trace settings you can add as many different traces as you want um, and 
and then here you can add a time in you always want to start it after zero because otherwise you don't get any um that warning of when to start first value would be zero and then the next value normally you'd want that to be your maximum braking effort because most proper brake traces will go to 100 percent in the shortest amount of time possible so i've put here 0.1 seconds 100 percent then at three seconds so for half a second i'm saying stay at 100 percent and then by 3.8 seconds go down to 80 percent 60 40 20 10 as you can see dropping off to give us the kind of shape that you'd expect to see um, when trail braking and um, depending on what the corner is like how fast you were hitting the corner in the first place you may have a flatter top um, if it's somewhere like clearways at Brands Hatch this slope might be might be a flatter top and then a more gradual decline but you can get that shape off of your um, data or off, of, or off of a good driver's data um, or contact me and I'll give you some um, data from a pro racing driver to copy um, and then all you've got to do to play the game if you like is click start simulation and you'll see a red trace along the bottom and if you press the pedal it will register the input from the pedal yeah. Stop it. it will restart after two seconds after the ideal trace misses anyway um, and then your I'm not particularly good at this but your job is to watch the trace go along and then try to modulate the pressure to follow the ideal trace and you'll see by the time it gets to 8 it'll start again So over time with practice you'll get better and better at modulating the brake pressure but it's quite good for making clear in your mind you know what 100% brake pressure feels like and the kind of gentle modulation that's required um, for trail braking it's, it's very easy to think that there's a lot of movement in your pedal um, but actually it's it's the load rather than the movement which while they are associated to a degree um, it's not quite as you'd imagine and it's only over time that you get to uh, you know practicing that you um, get used to it so in the simulation mode you can have single trace i.e. whatever one that you set in the trace settings is number one or you can have all traces in order so you can put in if we put in another trace just go with the default for the purpose of the ex uh, excerpt Oops. start again now what will happen is you'll have to hit the first curve and try and match that and then it will go along and you've got to try and match the next curve which is nothing like a real brake trace we'll stop there obviously if you had three four five six different traces 
mapped in there um, it will just keep going along or you can do traces in a random order at which point it will randomly choose what the next trace is um, now the reason for doing this is that or the idea behind it was that you might load a set of traces that look like a, like an ideal lap say around a circuit and if you put them put the braking positions in at the correct times around the lap and the style and the uh, characteristics of each corner idealized braking for each corner in then you could in theory over time learn a particular track from muscle memory um, so yeah have a play now there's also race, tra race start training on here which uh, we didn't develop very far so I wouldn't worry too much about that ignore that um, and my contact details are here if you want to get in contact and ask anything about it so um, yeah hope you enjoyed having a quick look at what we're, we've done with this piece of software uh, if it could be of um, potential use to you or your team uh, or please obviously like and sub uh, like the video if you if you like, if you do indeed like it and subscribe subscribe to the channel um but yeah if you could share it um, around let other people know what we're doing that would be very helpful uh, and so until the next video uh, thanks very much for work for watching and i'll catch you soon